Alrighty, well, morning, everybody. Well, it's uh, 1.20 a.m. right now, and I uh, just was going to hop on these Final Fantasy XIV forums and just do what I usually do, just browse up and down. Usually the stuff in there, it's it, the stuff's been done to death. They're basically beating dead horses. So, you know, I, you know, for those that don't know, I've been playing uh, I've been playing Final Fantasy XIV in some form. I haven't really played these days, but anyway, I've uh, I've played the game in some form for probably at least five years now. So that's about five years worth of checking out forums. So, yeah, it just gets to a point where I don't really want to watch anymore. Um, but before I continue. Um, I am going to have some music going in the background. Um, this is going to be Friedhoff, uh, Bede Gweze, uh, Beelzebub. Uh, this is, this is, uh, this is the kind of music that I call Power Dungeon Synth. It's like, it's like this cross between, between Dungeon Synth, Black Metal, uh, and Chiptune. Chiptune, maybe a little bit of Vaporwave throwing in there as well, but, um, but yeah, it, it's just what I've been it's just what I've been into recently, so I figured it's what I it's what I had going all night. Might as well play it here. And as I as I do have a cast video that I need to get up and run that I'm gonna have to get started fairly soon here. I'm gonna try to keep this short, but like I said, um as you can probably tell by the uh the forum thread, you pull you tank is a bad mentality. I'll I'll talk more about it in a minute, but it kinda really hit a canker sore with this. So, yeah, so let me go ahead and get the music going. This is just going to be, um, I got to sound test this. Alright. So, I think the volume's good where it's at. Okay, but anyway, um, you pull, you tank is a bad mentality, um, written by Skiros. Oh, and for those that don't know, um, I'll often do this from time to time. I'll, I'll find a forum thread like this, and then I'll talk about it. I'll do some commentary on it, and, and I'll also look at other people's posts as well, comment on those, but usually, and as there's about... 288 posts on this. I'm most certainly not going to go through all of them because, again, it's like I said at the start of the video, um, most of the forums are just beating dead horses. But, again, but considering how long this game has been out, it's it's par for the course. So, But as this one here is something I haven't heard in a long time, I figured it'd be good to, it'd be good to get a refresher on this. And I also, I also probably want to explain a little further. Uh, for those that don't play MMOs, like some might, some might play fighting games, but not MMOs. Um, when it comes to party content, the tank is probably the equivalent of the offensive lineman in American football. He's, or another way of looking at it, um, as one of uh, one. One forum poster a long time ago put it, um, a party in an MMO is kind of like a car. The tank is the steering wheel. He's the one that decides where the party goes. Um, the healer, the healer is the engine. Yeah, the healer is the engine. You know, the engine and I guess gas tank as well. When the healer runs out of, you know, when the healer has no mana to heal anybody, you're going nowhere. Um, the DPSers, aka damage dealers, they're um they're the tires and transmission. They're the ones that determine how fast you're going. So the tank is in other words, the tank, he's the front line guy. He's the first to charge into that group of monsters, and his goal is to get all the monsters' attention fixated on him. To keep all the monsters occupied, while the um, while the damage dealers, the DPSers, charge in, and they're the ones that do the actual killing blow. They're the ones doing the damage, as it's obvious. And the healer, he's 
He's, you know, again, as the name implies, he's the one keeping everybody healed up. Trying to keep people from dying. So, but, uh, what problem? But one problem that is, and I forgot to make, let me mention this too, as far as MMOs go, my favorite role is the tank. I've loved it. That's one of the reasons why I was playing MMOs, is the tank role. You know, I'd, I'd love just running up, charging in, getting all the monsters up, beating on me and stuff like that. Bit of, okay, I, I guess I'm a bit of a masochist. So. But one thing, um, but one problem that, um, that tanks, and I'm going to think about it that the other roles kind of have, is people tend to overstep their boundaries. Like, what they're talking about here, you pull, you tank. DPSers and healers will often, will try to pull in front of you. They try to do your job for you. In other words, they're overstepping their boundaries. You know, if the tank is not to their liking, they'll run up and they'll pull extra groups of monsters for you. So, but it's a problem that I've had way back when I first started playing when I was playing World of Warcraft um, about 10 years ago. Played it for about four and a half years. So, so yeah, this is not a new problem. And it's, it's also one of the reasons why I'm very skittish on running group content. Um, but a some, but a lot of the, a lot of the problems can be laid at the feet of the game devs themselves, the the game designers. You know, Final Fantasy XIV has a major problem with this, although not as bad as WoW. But at the end game content, players, it gets to where players will eventually outgear that content, almost to a point where they can literally solo with themselves. So they don't need tanks. Because of that, they can treat the tanks like shit. Or they can treat them like they don't exist. Tank not going fast enough for them. Okay, well. You know. Want the job done right? Gotta do it yourself. That crap. So. So. It, the, um. The U pull. Now. I forget to explain again. You pull, you tank. Again, for those that for those that have never done MMOs before, it means that uh if you if you're gonna you know if you're gonna try to do my job for me, if you're gonna try to pull extra monsters more than I think that I can handle, I'll let I'll let you fight the monsters yourself. So you know they're they're your problem now. So but and when I first started tanking many years ago, that was my mentality too. I mean, hell, I mean, hey asshole, you want, you want to pull up, you want to pull up and try to do my job for me? There, go do my fucking job for me. Now, you know, it, but with me, it's a respect issue. You know, so with me, and I'll bet a lot of these other tanks that I that. Let's say you pull, you tank. I bet it's the same for them as well. It's a respect issue. You know, it's got nothing to do with efficiency or anything like that. You know, you're you're depri you know, you're depriving me of fun. I mean, and yes, granted, you know, it might be mutual. You know, you know, I'm all, you know, we're only pulling one group at a time, and it's going really slow. I mean. Robbing you of your fun. I mean, I, I I get that. So, but going back to what I said a few moments ago. Oh, I'm a I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea. Hold on. So, but, um, the game devs... Now, Final Fantasy XIV has what WoW doesn't. Um, they have what's called level sync. 
or in the case of endgame content, item level sync. What that means is, if you're uh, if you're running, if you're doing a certain dungeon, for example, and if uh, if the gear, if you grossly out, or hell, I wouldn't say grossly, if you out gear the content you're running, item level sync will automatically reduce your power level. I'll, I'll just go and say, I'll go ahead and say power level, but reduce your power level to a certain level that's within a certain a certain range of the done of the content you're running so it scales down you know, it scales down your gear level but wow doesn't have this so in that game there at least back when I played it players could grossly out gear the content they're running so much so that even the healers can be tanks you know, even even DPSers could tank whole dungeons, oftentimes soloing them. You know, with the other four, the other four, uh, the other four players, tank included, are just along for the ride. So, so again, part of this can be laid at their at the feet of the depths. They need to make the content hard again, make dungeons great again. To kind of quote Donald Trump in a way. You know. And, and like I said before, this is an ongoing issue. So, so technically what, what I'm looking at here is a dead horse. But like I said, he, they hit a canker sore here. So this is a problem that I've dealt with. And it's also one of the reasons why, again, I'm primarily into single player content. I only run the, uh, I only run the party content when I have to. It's because of this. But back in the day, this was actually a pretty a, a pretty strong statement because back in the day, or whenever whenever a brand new expansion comes out, whenever brand new content comes out, that's impossible to overgear at that time. At that time, this has much this has a carries much greater weight because. They're not gonna. They're not gonna be able to tank what they pull, because they don't outgear the content yet. Emphasis on the word yet. So yeah, they're more likely to get themselves killed pulling the stupid shit that they're pulling now. But as the expansion goes on, as you know, more and more players outgear that content, and I, I forgot to mention, and they become more experienced with that content. They know where to stand. They know. They know when, exactly when to pop, use their abilities and, and, and you know and such, you know. So as they become more and more experienced, then you pull, you tank, doesn't mean deadly squat. Because you, you tell them that you pull it, you tank it. Most likely they can. So so it's it's pretty much a meaningless statement now. So let me um now as far as it being a bad mentality, to kinda reiterate. They're not they're not doing they're not saying this to piss you off. They're not saying this to be snobs or anything. You know, they're they're there cause they want a tank. But if you're just gonna try to do their job for them, you're preventing them from having their fun. So they're not just being a bunch of whiny babies. Anyway, let me um, let me go ahead and move along. Pulse in front of his tank. Now this. Now. Refusing to grab aggro and then watching them die or not. Sometimes a healer or DPS can survive easily. It's just petty. But then again, so is trying to pull for the tank. That's pretty fucking petty too. So now But once again when 
when players become so geared and so experienced compared, you know, for the content that they're running, it's this does nothing. You you tell them you pull it, you tank it, they mo most likely they can. So it, I. I wouldn't even, and again, I wouldn't call it a temper tantrum. You know, it's, I'm probably, this is probably something else I'm probably saying a lot throughout this video. We're not doing this to piss you off. You know, again, I'm not even, I mean, the reasons I'm saying, I, and to be fair, I used to say this. And I used to do it, you know, especially in the early parts of WoW, when I was just, you know, starting to tank, trying to learn how to tank. I'll probably talk more about that later when I start looking at all these other posts. You know, if you're pulling for the tank, you're especially new tanks, you're preventing them from learning. And and I'm pretty sure that some of these other posters are going to say this. In fact. I even wrote it down. Some of these other pollsters are going to talk about the team concept. It's all it's all about a team, Joe. It's not just about you. You know, stop being selfish. It's all about what the team needs, not just you. Now, take all these monsters that I just pulled for you. So. So, but I'm pretty sure, um, I'm pretty sure I'm I'm gonna be hearing a fair amount of team team concept stuff. So, but like I said, back in the day, I used to do this too. Somebody would pull for me. Fuck you. You take them yourself, bud. You know, and again, a part of it. Was, but again, it wasn't. It wasn't just me being a snob. It was just me being a you know being mad. You know. It's basically, again, like I said towards the start of this video, it's it's respect. Pulling for me is very disrespectful. And this is especially true when nobody says anything. I mean, a lot of times, again, um, for those of you that, uh, that play fighting games, games that I play now, they're games that I'm into these days, fighting games, it's, it, you know, it, if, you, if you think it's bad, when you get your ass handed to you by an opponent that does that ne doesn't even talk to you, you know, you select a random match against a random opponent and he just wipes the floor with you, but then just just says GG and up and disappears afterwards. If you think that's kind of if you think that's kind of disrespectful, you, you can only you can only imagine what an average MMOer has to go through. The vast majority of the time, people in these dungeon runs or in these raids or whatnot, they never say a word to any anybody they don't talk so and I kind of lost my train of thought but again it when I was um uh, it what I wasn't I wasn't doing it out of snobbery I was doing it because I'm being disrespected so yeah you pull it you take it fuck you now as I got, as I played the game more and more, as I started learning more and more about the game, I came, you know, I started to understand that people pull this shit on you because they've been running the stuff so much, they're so experienced with it. They've been, you know, they so grossly out gear the content that they could solo it themselves so they can get away with this. So you pull it, you tank it, don't mean deadly squat now. But anyway, anyway, I I gotta I gotta move along. So let me go ahead and look at all the other uh, all the other posts. Um, this is something else. If um if you're gonna pull for the tank, at the very least, whatever you're pulling, bring them. To the tank, so he could, so 
He doesn't have to run all the way out of his way just to pull him off you. So, um, but again, it's a bit of a courtesy bringing the monsters to the tank. But, uh, oh, I also forgot to say, what I do now, if, if for the rare time that I actually run, I actually run party content, if anybody does this to me, I'll at least finish the encounter, and then I bail out of the group immediately afterwards. No point in being there. But anyway, I'm taking another drink. into this one uh, one thing this forum has are trolls so it looks like I just stumbled right into this one but like I said he did hit a canker sore here so is this the only way you can get people to talk to you this is this must have been one of those posters he's a troll poster he's just basically he's I guess in a way he's trying to get likes and he's just trying to he's just trying to get posts trying to start a flame war um just trying to get people arguing that kind of thing and I know this because 70 likes so Like I said a few moments ago, and he, El Marion kind of said it here too. If you're going to pull for me, at the very least, do it responsibly. Or pull him to me, you know. You know, at least show some, at least show a little bit, at least show a modicum of courtesy. Yeah, courteous pulling. Too often the people who are doing it just rush ahead and go full out, which makes it more difficult to snag everything. So... So yeah, again, you're pulling for me, but if you're not pulling them to me, then yeah, fuck you, buddy, you're on your own. fix. Stop pulling for the tank. And I think I was trying to say this earlier too about the, the the fighting game analogy. Like, you know, if a pro player just steamrolls a total newbie, that newbie's not learning anything. You know, so if you got a if you've got a newbie tank in your group, no. If he doesn't say at the start of the run that he's new, okay, kind of gray area, but I think I've played MMOs enough to know I know a new tank when I see it. Especially if I'm healing one, especially if I'm the healer, I'm gonna know I'm gonna know a newbie tank right off the bat, or if not immediately, fairly early in a run. So, but if if you're gonna but if you're gonna do a tank, if you're gonna do a newbie tank's job for him, that tank isn't learning anything. So, and I believe it's also one of the reasons why I can't remember where I heard it or read it, but I think um I know in fighting games, um simplification is often a big is often a big word thrown around 
thrown around these days in fighting games. Simplification. Or making games casual friendly. And I think... And I think one of the reasons why the big push is... Why simpl simplification is such a big push in fighting games is because of scenarios like this. You know, a newbie goes on a game that's, let's say, Street Fighter Third Strike. Or one of the Guilty Gears. One of the Guilty Gear games. You know, really, really tough, hard games to figure out. But when, when a newbie goes on there, and a, you know, and a, and a pro player goes on and <laughs> wipes the floor with them, that newbie doesn't learn a damn thing. And what it, what's going to end up happening is now that newbie, assuming he still wants to play that game, is probably just going to go after the single player content. You know, are going to go after the easy stuff. And then eventually, those uh, newbie players will end up, probably end up getting bored because it's either, either A, they're the AI in that particular fighting game cheats, like the one I'm the one I'm having to deal with on Dragon Ball Fighters. You know, lots of button reads, reading your button inputs and responding just like that. You know, so the single player content isn't really doing it for them. So eventually they get burnt out and quit playing. But if they, you know, if they play an actual, an actual, or if they play another player, it's almost as bad. So I think, I think, uh, so again, simplification, casual friendly content is becoming more, a, you know, a bigger, bigger word that's thrown out these days. Because all of these new players, they try to, they try out these fighting games, but find them too hard and leave and don't come back. So I think game, game companies now are trying to bring them back. I kind of, that kind of parallels with, um, kind of parallels with uh, MMOs like this. You know, these other players are not giving it, they're not giving these new tanks a chance to learn how, to learn how to tank. Those tanks are just going to get pissed and stick with the single player stuff. So, and I, I know that because I was one of these people. I only do the, uh, I only do the part, I only do the actual party content now you know, only one have no other choice. I mean, hell, um, final, er, uh, the ones that are actually playing 14, Trust Dungeons. I'll, I'll bet, uh, I'll bet, tr I'll bet the, uh, the Trust system was implemented because of what I'm talking about. A newbie tank goes in, you know, new to tank, and never tanked before, but the moment he gets in, everybody charges ahead of him, starts pulling for him. It's like the tank don't matter. So, yeah, Tanks are gonna get pissed off and not want to do that shit again. You know, and they're gonna go to single player content or eventually just quit the game altogether. That's, I'll bet that's why uh, the trust system was invented. And um, for those, and then speaking of those that have never played MMOs before, for the longest time, whenever you're running group content, you ran them with other people. So, but up until recently, um, this game, Final Fantasy XIV, implemented what's called the Trust System. You can now run dungeons with four AI players. You don't have to run dungeons with, with humans anymore. Now, I don't, for the higher, for the higher, the, uh, the higher tier content, like trials and raids and whatnot, um, I think you still have to you still have to play with other people on those, I think. I'm, but um, anyway, but you kind of get the idea though. But I think game devs are trying to bring the play, trying to bring the uh, the tired, poor, huddled masses, for lack of a better phrase, trying to bring them back because the numbers are down, I guess. But anyway, again, definitely like this. And um, after seeing this, I'm probably not going to be going down much farther. This. If they, now, if they do this on accident, then yeah, I'll pull off of them. If 
they pull intentionally while everyone is ready. Uh, see the previous statements? If they're pulling, if they're if they're pulling for me, but if they're not pulling pulling them to me, you know, at least show show a little bit of courtesy. Then no, they're they're on their own. This. I got a feeling I'm going to be liking this one too. As a GPS, I don't think I should be pulling mobs. This. And plus, that's something else too. You know, I mean, especially if the tank is new, I mean, it doesn't make, th it doesn't exactly make things easier for me, the DPS or the healer as well. If a tank can't, you know, if you're making a real mess of things, I mean, I'm going to end up getting killed, too. You know, so it hurts me the DPS are pulling for the tank. Yep, and he... He just said that, too. And I've been on the receiving end of this as well. I've seen plenty of DPS eat dirt because neither the tank or the healer appreciated their assistance. So, pulling for tanks can potentially hurt everybody. Yeah, and th this, to me, this is old, old school right here. Back when content was a lot harder than it is, than it is now. And it's also, it's also pretty true at the start of every expansion. When everything is pretty much brand new, you know, everybody is basically on equal gearing. You know, nobody else has done this new content. So, everybody's, it's a whole level playing field. So. Um, if everyone is clearly able to do their jobs properly enough. And that's something else. And that's something else too. Something I said about five, ten minutes ago. Nobody talks to each other in these dungeons, and I'm pretty sure fighting games have the same same thing too. To my knowledge, there is no uh, there is no chat function in fighting games. You can't type stuff down in chat with each other. Oh, whoa, that's it. Um. All right, I'll just go ahead and start this over. Yeah, that was the end of the album. Man, how long has it been? Oh, just over half an hour. Must have been a short album. You know, so... You know, I think she kind of... She kind of said... She kind of... I think she kind of implied it here. You know, if you... If you communicate with the other guys, you know, say, "Hey, I'm new to tanking. Chances, chances are pretty good. No one's gonna pull for you, or yeah, oh, they might even help you. You know, might even, you know, tell you what button to push and how to pull and stuff like that. But again, 90% of the time, no one says a word. If the healer is obviously new and is struggling, and someone pulling things, I give it two wipes to see if the person pull can put two and two together." That we can't handle. If not, I'll let them die on the third go. Yep. But like I said, communication. That's something else I forgot to say at the start of the video. But again, nobody talks. You know, nobody's, you know, few if any people say, Hey Joe, just go ahead and pull the whole room, man. I got your back. Hey Joe, don't, stop pulling just one group at a time. We all out gear this stuff. Just pull everything. We got you. Nobody says anything like that. It's just, I run up, pull one group, all of a sudden, everybody <laughs> takes off and charges ahead of me. So, yeah, just read the room before you pull. Okay, so... Reading this, it looks like it's going to be a... 
It's just gonna be a spit fest. And it's also what I said earlier. You pull it, you tank it, doesn't mean deadly squad anymore. Especially towards, a, especially on the tail end of an expansion when everybody has run the content numerous times and, and or grossly outgears it. That mentality doesn't work now. So, you're better off just doing what I do. Just, if they pull for you, pull the aggro off of them, end the encounter, and then just bail on the group at the first opportunity. Don't worry about abandoning them, because I'm pretty sure the very next tank that comes up, it'll probably be the miracle tank for him. There, he'll pull whole rooms, he'll, or he'll pull from boss to boss, and he'll do it all in level 10 gear, because he's that damn good. Okay, not. Yeah, she. Yeah, it's start. It's starting to resemble an echo chamber in here. Again, the the horse. I think the horse is pretty much dead at this point. So. So yeah, I'll just go ahead and call it good here. But like I said. Like I said, this is pretty much a this is pretty much a dead horse issue right here. But as as one. I haven't heard, I haven't seen this kind of threat in a long time, and two, he pretty much hit a canker sore. I uh, just felt the need to comment on it. But I'll just go ahead and call it good here. Um, but thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, definitely have to get started on my uh, my cast video here right after I get through getting this all cleaned up. So, But otherwise, um, otherwise, once again, thanks for... Thanks for listening to me. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.